Sorry if I seem a little bit like uh, groggy, not like full full energy. I just woke up from a nap. Your boy is tired. Your boy is a little tired. I'm not under the weather or anything like that. Just needed a little bit more sleep than normal. I will slowly begin to expand into full Tevin. As usual, I have prepared comments today because if I let you guys talk, you're just going to talk about shitting on people and fucking... I don't know who knows what else you guys just like making shit up for the hell of it so the discussion today is about the community at large especially within persona about its niche about how you know we go far and yah yah woo woo so basically chat I want to discuss with y'all why is persona in such a niche state right now right we've talked about it before persona is one of the best games literally ever made right any one of them you can pick any one of them why can we not expand into the realm of like kingdom hearts and like pokemon and shit like that it all started with how p quickly people pick up on how attractive the characters are the to the point that stan started hopping in and only focus on the characters yeah uh it starts really with the marketing i think chat i think it starts with the marketing do you guys remember like kingdom hearts one and kingdom hearts two the when you walk away you don't hear me say please oh baby Simple and clear. like you guys remember that right everybody knows about that so that's what gave kingdom hearts it's like western push was just like that one single thing you know what i mean when persona doesn't like market towards people in the west it becomes harder and like people that end up finding it end up having like a niche right that's how it settles into a niche that's like the the biggest thing and from that niche community what ends up happening is whoever the leader is in that community whoever starts the memes whoever uh is big in that community like they set the tone early on so when persona 3 persona 4 persona 5 started hitting hitting the first memes that come out usually hit the hardest you know what i mean so it's like damn now we're stuck with these fucking waifu debates now we're stuck with these uh burn my bread now we're stuck with these you know what i mean because there's no marketing for for larger appeal and now i get it i get it like if we were to let it be too mainstream then there'd be normies and there's nothing worse in a video game community than some normies that shit's terrible i hate i hate i hate normie culture invading video game culture it, it's it's terrible but i think that there's room for growth like i think there's room to expand every single time every single time i sit here and i, I watch persona and i'm like how do like big anime people not know about this how how have they not played the game how are they not discussing it how is this not something that you can that you can introduce as a more palatable option to other things you know what i mean as a mass destruction the western appeal it can't just be one thing and i didn't hear about mass destruction until i became big i didn't know about mass destruction until well after I, all of my videos went viral so there's no way that they marketed maybe because it's exclusive to playstation that's not the case because nintendo nintendo <clears throat> nintendo's pokemon is exclusive to its own stuff people label persona as a pedo game because of that tackles actual sexual issues and the fact that you can romance characters who are underage but they fail to realize the protagonists are underage too that's a whole other can of worms that you'd have to open if you wanted to discuss it game looks too weeby for general consumption look shit looks like an anime version of beautiful joe as far as the anime community specifically i don't know now that makes sense it is super anime style it's definitely super duper anime style and it's long it's long long and there's like a lot of uh, sort of gamey factors to it. You can't go into this and not know how a video game works because you're gonna be confused and you're gonna spend your days wasting your time. I think the problem is the fact that more people know of only Persona 5 and when people try to get into Persona, it will always have the stigma of the fan base because of how they act. That's true. That's true to a certain extent. It's probably the most successful JRPG out there. No, that's Pokemon. I've never heard of Persona. See, exactly. Persona is a game that is that has massive appeal to people that know about it and then every single person that i've seen play it they love it but it's so like not well known and well known at the same time it's just so odd it's almost like a dichotomy like the people who love it love it 
And the people who know about it love it. And the people that don't know about it, they don't know fuck all about it except for, you know, everyone having uh, Joker and Ryuji and Akechi profile pictures on Twitter. And that would make them hate it. Make me hate it. Joker getting into Smash was probably the best thing for Persona's publicity. In fact, we've been invited. Invited to steal the greatest treasure of all. Now that's actually factual. What? That's factual. That's actually factual. Real? I feel like Yakuza has that same that same problem. You know what I mean? It's a great uh, secondary option to uh, Grand Theft Auto for a lot of people out there, but they just don't give it a chance because it's all in all in Japanese up until seven. Yeah, I think it's just in a weird place. I think it's gonna only grow bigger. I think this game is gonna get really massive here pretty soon to the point where it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be like impossible to ignore, and then it's gonna get. I think my worst fear, and I think it's absolutely going to happen, chat, is Persona 6, and if not Persona 6, whatever the spinoffs of Persona 6 is, is going to absolutely make this shit way too massive. It's going to look like Dream, it's going to look like SMP, it's going to look like Minecraft, to where there's like this crazy stand culture, because it's already, the, the line is this thin, the line is this thin. I don't know if I can be a part of that. Kind of like Undertale, yes. We're this close. We're already like in it. It's not gonna be fun at all. You mean we already haven't reached that point yet? No, because we're not like explosively large. It is inevitable because the game caters to that style. It caters to stands. It, it, support, it, it doesn't support standing, but it like the influence it gives you to stand shit. You know what I mean? Due to how sexualized some things in Persona 5 can appear, it can weird others out. Imagine showing someone Risei's dungeon if they already dislike th things like anime. That's true. That's super true. I also want this game to stay less popular because the community is already beat to shit as is. That's what I'm saying though. We, I think we have to develop as, as, as a community. I think we have to develop new things. I think we have to develop new ways to look at the content. We need to develop new personalities and people who create content for it and let and let that conversation with stands it still exists it has its own community but it needs to not be so massive and large that it's that it's a fucking wave crashing down on everybody else in the community because we've seen what happens when that happens right chat like you see when a game is dominated by the by the fanatic culture it it rushes everything you know what i mean it makes the game less fun makes the community less fun how do you build new content when your only choice is to play an 80 hour game it's not the game that people care about that's the point that i'm trying to say chat you, there there's all of you guys in here right now watching me do absolutely nothing but attack these three things why because we have different discussions every day we come in here and we talk and we bullshit and we have fun it's not the game it's me that's leading you in a different direction. We took it in an entirely different direction. It's not the game at all. We came in here because we all like Persona, but it's the it's the it's the common bond and the common way that we speak that keeps people around. But that has nothing to do with the game though. You could literally have a black screen up right now having this conversation. How many viewers do you think I'd lose if I wasn't playing Persona 5? It absolutely has to do with the game. People know me because I went viral on this game. It is how people perceive content creators for their specific com for their specific game and how they shape the community. Honestly, I feel like SMT5 and Switch will gain a lot of people into Megaton. That's, that's gonna be true. Favorite Persona girl? Oh, you one of them, huh? Oh, you wanted them, huh? Off topic, but why do you think Atlas have been translating game to West for so long? Like it's almost been a year since the Japanese version of Scramble came out. Main reason is coronavirus. That's the easy answer. The second answer is that they are not, in, Atlas is in not in any kind of rush to deliver us anything. They don't owe us shit. They just make the games. So they can take as much time as they really want to. I mean, that's the, that's the, that's the default answer. They don't owe us shit. Plus, yeah, they are expanding. It's not just exclusive to Sony now. So now they have to port to several other console, which is a much more massive release. What are your ex expectations this year for Persona 5 20 or Persona 25th anniversary? I think a major, uh, major re-release of a lot of the games are gonna come out, especially Persona 3. Maybe towards the end of the year. There's gonna be a whole lot of whole lot of shit coming, and I'm pretty ex I'm I'm pretty excited for it, but I'm also like. Ugh, my body. Have you seen that they're charging $100 for Joker and Queen 
queen in idle arena i don't play gotcha games because i'm not a fucking dummy and also because i'm broke i'm not saying you're dumb if you play gotcha games but you will spend money i'm sure it's fun i'm sure those games are fun but god damn you gonna have to pay some money for that and i'm not paying no money what is a glizzy you know what a glizzy is my boy a glizzy refers to two things if uh someone's talking about glizzy in terms of food it's a hot dog if someone's talking about a glizzy in terms of hurting you it is a gun so i shouldn't put it in my ass no you shouldn't put a glizzy in your ass i'm sorry i mean you can if that's if you if you're feeling that i called my cat in minecraft glizzy glizzy the cat is kind of a tough name i'm not gonna lie to you glizzy the cat yes yeah, sir they did the Persona 3 and 4 models in the new engine, they look great. I think Atlas can make a lot of growth and money if they remade the games. That's absolutely true. I think they absolutely need to add, uh, make sure that you can still use your uh, party members like P3P. And they need to cut the fucking grinding out of Tartarus. Jiminy Christmas. I'm not doing it, I say. I'm uneducated. What's Tartarus? It's sort of the, the Persona 3 version of Mementos. You're absolutely right. If they redefine some poor mechanics and social links, it could outclass Persona 5. The main thing is they just gotta, they have to make it more accessible for people that just don't have the time. I get that Persona's a long game, but you, you need to be able to cut. If you don't want to do something that day, you shouldn't have to walk all the way to your bed, skip the day. If you don't want to do something that day, you can just skip it. Just be like, skip this day, skip. And then on important days, it forces you to do that day. That's that that's all that is boom bam bop it's simple the plan simple i love the fact that it was 100 hours but it shouldn't be needed yes it should only be 100 hours to the people that want to experience 100 hours of gameplay you know what i mean like just give me an idea just here's an idea atlas here's a free idea for me every single day on a calendar if it is an important day force the player to stop on that day otherwise if they want to just skip the development and be under leveled they can do that you can give them slight warnings to say oh this should be you know you you want you might want to do this on this day like you normally do but you shouldn't have to be you shouldn't the game should be 40 to 60 hours in total length and a hundred hours total or a hundred and hundred and hundred to however long it wants to be for the people that want to get the full experience I'm gonna be honest with you chat I don't follow anything in persona when I'm not playing it I don't look at anything persona related why because I'm I get burnt out and I get irritated distance is sometimes a good thing oh man I don't watch uh I don't watch a single thing I can't I can't I can't because I get flooded I get flooded a lot so when people ask me about things I gen I generally don't know about them I'd be like, what do you mean? I, I think chat told me about when Strikers got a release date and I was like, huh? Strikers got a release date? I didn't even know because I just don't follow anything. So if I told you that Alice released Persona 6, would you believe me? No, because I'm not, you know, all the way stupid. I'm just kind of stupid. Any big projects you're hyped for the channel in 2021? We're going to be stretching out further into variety content. I'm very excited to not only solidify myself more into Shin Megami Tensei and the Mega Ten games as a whole but I'm also a lot happier or I'm also like really pushing to make myself known for just myself the two major things I want to do this year is separate myself as an individual content creator that's not persona guy it's just Tevin who happens to be playing persona that day but I also want other people in other communities to know about how good this game is through me. I want to be the medium or the catalyst between um, not, well, somewhat mainstream areas and uh, the niche community. That's my plan for uh, 2021. Will you do more sleep with speed runs like that on one? No. Yeah, I hate to burst your bubble if anybody came here to, to see more of that. That's probably not going to happen. That was just like a fun one-off thing that I wanted to do. Uh, just to have some fun. My Pokemon series are like way lower views, but I'm going to still keep pushing them anyway because hopefully piece by piece by piece you'll start to see just me, you know?